Hello everybody and welcome to Tasha Foundation. Today we are here to continue with our lesson on road accidents and we are taking one of the causes of road accident today that is human causes of road accident. When we talk about human causes of road accident, we are looking and focusing on the driver in particular. The drivers in particular, they are, according to statistics, are a, a, a contributed to about 70% of road accidents in Cameroon. 70% of road accidents in Cameroon. Meaning if 100 road accidents occur in a week or in a month, the drivers uh, contributed to at least 70 of such road accidents. And they have to be blamed. But in most cases, we usually allow the driver and blame other people, the government or the overloading or the road or the road sign, not forgetting the driver of a vehicle is the captain is the director. The lives of all the people in the 70 seater boxes that usually carry 100 people, meaning the lives of these 100 people depend is in the hands of the driver. Meaning if the driver is so careful in driving, everything will go well and these people will arrive safely. But with the carelessness of the drivers, the lives of these 100 people are on a zero risk and that's why we are coming up that we have to take this very serious what are the reason what are the things the driver usually do that cause a lot of road accident in attention is one of it many of our drivers are just so used to the steering as if they are sitting on a tree or in a stone or on a, on top of a mountain that cannot be moved cannot be shaken just so in, 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 in attention, there is no concentration, they are answering their telephone as well, doing things, turn around, call this person, come with talking and talking with each person, with people, talking and laughing, making you and playing over the steering, playing with the lives of people. A good driver had to concentrate. A good driver has to concentrate and looking at the side mirror, looking everywhere to see that the things, the road is safe. Pedestrians are crossing very well. They are pedestrians crossing, looking at the sign. Even if there are no signs on the, at the road, as it is the case in our home country, you have to know and put in your experience, your own initiative, and know that at this particular period, at this particular point, I have to slow down. At this point, I have to do this. Inattention in driver is causing a lot. Laws and numerous laws are out that driver should not be talking while driving. But that is not the case in our home country. Everybody answering calls. Some even answering videos calls while driving. Assessing speed. Assess speed by the driver. It is not the car that is running and increasing its speed by itself. It is the driver increasing it. Knowing the risks in it, knowing the kind of route you are driving in, but you are running on a very high speed. That is something happens. Knowing the kind of environment an elephant or an animal can come up from the bush. Knowing that you are driving amongst the primitive people, somebody can just jump into the road. Knowing that you are driving in the road where many people, on the road where many people are there, are using it. Another person anywhere can come out at any minute. But you are just flying with second handicaps, updated vehicles. Drivers, change your mentality positively in order to save life. When an accident occurs, you believe you are the cause. The blood of those innocent people are on you. Don't believe that it was an accident. They are on you. And you will have to give an account on the last day. A poor driving skill. This is just rampant in our home country. Anybody at any time can become a driver. Whether you learn it, the most popular way of learning driving is becoming a motorboy. Today, you are a motorboy. Tomorrow, two, three days, you are already driving. And we are helping them. We're giving them fake driving license. 
and according to statistics by the Cameroon government, shows that what 7,000 people are driving vehicles with a fake driving license. Many are there that they just become learn it within the quarter, and then their brother will help them to um, to give them a, 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 a driving license, and then they are in the carrying the lives of few human beings. Moving around with, playing with it. It is not of their business. There is to make money. Poor driving skill. You don't go to training. You have not gone to driving school. You just say you have no. You what is there? And when something happened, you said there was no road sign. Even the road sign is standing. Will you know the meaning of the road sign if you have not gone to training school? And most of our training school are just there to make their money. Some people have never been there for classes, have never been. They will just come and bury bright away in order to write an exam, in order to sit in for, in order to do this. We have to change our mentality. When we are doing all these things, we believe that maybe it is just now the wrong, the consequences in the long run will affect us. Are the things we are seeing today, numerous road accidents, every day this one had a problem, this one had a problem, and then we keep on blaming the government, blaming the, the roads, blaming this each and everyone. Those point, pointing fingers cannot help bring the lives, bring those innocent people back. But a change of mentality can reduce the rate of accidents in our home country. So we have to change our mentality. Drunk drivers. There are thousands of drivers that believe that taking alcohol is to clear their eyes. But I'm telling you that you are a killer if you believe in that. You do not have to take alcohol. That is why the government of nearly all countries are out there testing drivers if they are driving under the influence of alcohol. And when you are driving under the influence of alcohol, if alcohol was to clear your eyes, they would not punish you. But they are punishing you if you are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Because this is wrong. But you just take it to be usual. We have seen videos where driver turn and put alcohol in the in, in the plus in the in, in the container of, of, of juice of, of, of soft dreams. Just pretend who are you fooling? Why are we so wicked? Many people just look at driving, riding by bank skin to be the most easier way of making money. And you go to work today, they send you away, you, you got a dismay, or you have nothing to do, you are disturbed emotionally, then you just believe that taking bank skin, you have to go out and make money. And you are there, you carry somebody behind you, innocent person, not knowing the state of the, the kind of mind you are having. Not knowing that you are you are a semi mad person, and then you hand behind you, and two three minutes they had an, an accident. Wickedness. I will not say ignorant. It is wickedness because you know who you are. A driver is leaving the house, knowing where fully that the vehicle is not okay in good condition, but he is there, carrying people. In the name of I just want to manage. You want to manage the lives of people. And when you arrive self successfully, it becomes your habit. Every day you want to manage. And one day, thousands will go, hundreds will go, because you want to manage. Change your mentality positively for a better society, for a better Cameroon, and for a better the route for everybody. Before taking your car or your vehicle out, always check yourself. After checking the various parts of the vehicles, the tires, the brakes, the, the oil and everything, before going out, always check yourself whether you are qualified on that day to drive. Whether you are qualified emotionally to go out. If you are disturbed emotionally, don't go out. Because some will sit on the steering, they are thinking about the problems and forget that they are driving and had an accident. Emotionally, if you are not emotionally fit, you do not have to drive. If you are not physically fit, 
you do not have to drive. But out of wickedness, out of selfishness, you want something for yourself, you just say you want to manage. And on the way, the problems you are having will clot and fear and occupy your mind and your eyes. You will no longer be seen and you will involve yourself in an accident. The health, your health condition is not okay, but you cannot sit in the house because you are thinking of what your family will fit on. It's better to be than to kill people. Check yourself every day before going out. Even you are working for somebody, he calls for you. You say, today I am emotionally disturbed. I cannot drive. If they send you away, God will provide because you are sincere. Don't be afraid. Of opening up. As a driver, you are driving from Bamenda to Douala and to and four. you go and come back alone. You cannot talk because you say if you say it, they will not do anything. You have to stand and say it. Drivers, you are killing people. Out of the 70, you people contribute to 70% of road accident. Out of this 70%, do you know how many people will die? How many people will become crippled forever? Because of you. It might not be those in your vehicles. You have to, there are people on the road. There are people, you're a road user. Many people driving innocent people. You just find yourself in there. You involve them, them in an accident. That they were driving carefully because of you. They find themselves in an accident. Change your mentality positively. That is why I pray. And keep on following Tasha Foundation. For we are bringing lessons on road accident. That can help reduce road accident in our home country, Cameroon. Thank you very much for watching.